What's up everybody, I'm Cindy Goodman, and in today's Daily Fix, the latest Apex Legends leaks could be confirmed today. Disney approaches the finish line in its Fox acquisition, and a new Aladdin trailer reveals more of the whole new world. Roll the thing! Apex Legends, the game that managed to stay almost airtight right up until the moment it was released, has been experiencing a ton of leaks lately. Friendly reminder to please take everything you see and hear about it with many grains of salt. Data miners uncovered new character names weeks ago, which we're about to go ahead and repeat here, so please do give our apologies to Respawn. Names like Jericho, Prophet, Crypto, and Nomad sound cool, but in sci-fi apocalyptic settings, they're probably just as basic as names like Ashley, Matthew, or John are here. Currently, the most detailed info around is for the character Octane. Some of his abilities were also leaked, showing he can self-inflict damage in order to move faster. A screen grab posted to Reddit, which originally popped up on Origin, claims the Season 1 Battle Pass and Octane were just announced today for 950 Apex coins. But Respawn's community manager, Jay Frechette, was quick to comment on the leaks, stating that, quote, we'll be providing details on Season 1 Battle Pass and the next legend very soon. It's not coming out today. There's lots of stuff that's been data mined from Apex since launch and is swirling around the internet. We know this stuff in there is fun to dig up and speculate about, but you should not treat any of that info as a source of truth." End quote. Check back with IGN as the updates, like the leaks, are sure to keep on coming. The Disney acquisition of Fox is ready to close March 20th, just after midnight, at which point Fox officially turns back into a pumpkin. The deal was originally set at a cool $52.4 billion. Oh my gosh, that's so much money. But after Comcast started a bidding war, the price went up to $71.3 billion in cash and stock. Ah, so much money. Disney is buying up Fox's film and television studios, which gives them a staggering number of Fox properties, including X-Men, Avatar, and The Simpsons. Disney plans to give Marvel Studios head Kevin Feige control of the X-Men, but Fox may fight to keep control of The Simpsons. Meanwhile, Fox News and sports channels will remain outside the four-fingered hands of Mickey Mouse. This acquisition has a ton of implications for the film industry as a whole, but one exciting development is Disney's new streaming service, which is set to launch sometime this year and will reportedly include the company's entire film library. So instead of texting someone Netflix and chill, you might try Disney Plus and relive our childhoods. A new official Aladdin trailer is out today and fan reactions are a lot more positive this time around. The latest trailer shows off the magical marketplace in Agrabah, the Cave of Wonders, and even a little of the magic carpet ride. If you didn't get chills when Jasmine started singing A Whole New World, please have someone check your pulse. And now that the internet has had plenty of time to digest the uncanny valley appearance of Blue Will Smith as Genie, he doesn't seem so bad this time around. The next thing fans of the original will have to contend is the uncomfortably friendly looking Jafar. Disney's live action remakes of classic animated titles like Cinderella and Beauty and the Beast have been met with mediocre reviews, but there's no denying they've brought in Scrooge McDuck levels of cash. The live action Aladdin comes out May 24th. And that's your daily fix for March 12th. I'm Sydney Goodman, and I hope your day is as awesome as you are. Now that you're all caught up, check out our review of Netflix's Love, Death, and Robots. Download the IGN app on all your mobile devices, subscribe to The Daily Fix on Snapchat, and for all things everything else, IGN.com.